Hello friends, welcome back to another video. I've actually already filmed this video and put these nails on and then I put them on too well and they were hurting so I took them off but basically we're going to be putting on some press on nails today. So I ordered these custom nails from the Wild Sunflower Nail Shop and they are freaking stunning. I put them all over my Instagram already so you've probably seen them if you follow me over there but I just put them on so well last time because I was worried that they were like not going to stay and they ended up hurting a little bit. My right hand was completely fine. Like I was able to use too much pressure with my right hand onto my left. So my left hand hurt, but my left hand, since it's not as um, abled, was not able to like push them in so much on my right hand and my right hand was fine. It felt great. But I just decided to take them off last week because they were just bothering me. But I'm ready to put them back on and I'm going to film the video with you and just put them on together. So I'm going to go ahead and push my cuticles back and then I'm going to do a cuticle remover just because I haven't done that in a while. And hopefully you can see that my nails are actually in good shape like since I took them off. I just did like a really light buff a second ago so that's why they look kind of crazy but they didn't damage my nails in any way except for my pinky but that was my fault I didn't dissolve the glue all the way so it kind of took some of my pinky nail with it but I'm gonna put them back on and um let my nails grow out underneath them and then we will be able to reshape so I'm just gonna go ahead and push all my cuticles back and then use some cuticle remover so that my nail plate is really clean I had already filed my nails kind of like just really short and messily just so that the press-ons would fit last time. So I'm just going to touch up my thumb because it has grown out a little bit just to make sure that they fit okay. Just doing a quick buff on here. It kind of helps like the glue stick into your nail a little bit better. Last time I put too much glue also on this finger and I took that one off like two days later than the rest of them because I literally couldn't get it off and I didn't want to rip it so I just kept soaking it. That was interesting. Okay this is the little kit um, that comes with the nails. You can order this like kind of separately. It comes with glue and like these little stickers and nail file and everything and I went ahead and ordered one because I don't have nail glue so I needed it but I'm going to use the prep pad that she included just clean all that dust off my nails. I'm kind of like feeling it and loving the press-ons though. I'm supposed to get some in PR here soon and I ordered some like plain ones off Amazon so that maybe I can get some um, like just random ones for whenever I want because I love hers and they're great for like nail art and stuff but maybe I want just like a plain color or something. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to possibly make my own. They're not going to be as good as hers because they're freaking stunning, but yes. Okay, move you up just a little bit so that I can see what I am doing. And then I was told, and it worked out really well the first time, to do your thumbs last because you use them so much. So I am going to go ahead and do that again um, and just put the glue on. Not as much this time and... See how this goes. Okay, here they are. Hopefully I did them okay this time and I can actually keep them on. Um, I did not push them in as much and I used a little bit less glue. So hopefully they are okay and I can keep them on for, I don't know, a few days, week or so. Um, 
but they're just beautiful. I highly recommend. I also got a, a pair for my sister for her birthday and she loves her custom pair as well. So if you're looking for some wonderful freaking custom nails, I will have the Instagram shop linked down below. I'm popping on with an update. This is kind of like a wear test, I guess. I'm, I don't know. It might be titled that. I haven't quite decided, but I am wearing my press on still. It is Monday. So I put these on on Thursday um, and they still look really good. No issues. Um, yeah, I haven't had anything like come off or like pop off. They are starting to catch a little bit on like see that edge right there. Um, but I'm still going to keep them on a little bit longer. I have some swatches I have to do soon so i'll probably keep them on until those come which i think they're supposed to be here on wednesday so nothing crazy and they still look really freaking beautiful and i don't know i just i mean it's crazy how quickly i got used to them honestly because this is obviously way longer than i normally wear my nails but i got used to it so quickly and yeah i will say that um I've only showered and like dealt with my hair once, so I haven't had like a lot of water exposure, which I think kind of changes how you how your nails wear, but yes, um, they look lovely and I'm very excited about continuing to wear them. Hello my friends, so we are going to be taking off the press-ons that I obviously put on earlier. This one literally just popped off when I was... Um, like drying myself from the shower so I already have one nail off I just have a bowl of like warm water here and it said to just soak them for a few minutes um it did say it did say to add some cuticle oil in there so I'm gonna go ahead and just add some oil I have tons of it why not um so last time i did this like when i said i used too much glue and it was a mess they took so long to come off but since this one already popped off i'm assuming that i put them on a little bit more um easy this time and so hopefully this will be a little bit easier but i'm just going to go ahead and soak my nails and hope that they just pop off here in like 10 minutes or so that would be lovely. Last time it took so long. I used way too much glue. I put them in, like in my nail kind of too much. But it is time to take them off because I have swatches and the polishers are coming tomorrow. So I want to just get my nails prepped and ready for those so that I don't have to wait a whole long time. But yeah, I will let you know how it's going. Oh my gosh, okay. This one took about 10 minutes. It came off fine. Um, these have been in, these three have been in for 20 minutes and they're almost done, but like this one is moving and you can definitely see it like it's almost ready to come off. But if you pull it, that's when you like pull your nail with them and then you'll damage your nails. So I'm going to refill the water. I've refilled this like four times already just to keep it like super warm. These are already looking really like that one's like really close, but I really don't want to mess these up. Um, so I'm just gonna fill this and keep soaking and the good thing is that there is some cuticle oil in here So it's helping my nails I'm not exactly sure how long it's been like to get all the rest of them off, but I did end up getting um, A few more off so I'm about halfway done. I have These five to get off. I would just rather soak them longer and have them like completely fully pop off than try to force it and mess up my nails, especially on my swatching hand. So just continuing to soak. I did stop and like have dinner and things. So it's been a while. Like I would say they've been actively soaking for probably 40 minutes to an hour maybe. So I would rather, again, I would rather have like more glue to soak off than them pop off every two days. So that's just your preference and maybe you guys have some kind of uh, tips for me, but I feel like the way I put them on was wonderful. They stayed on really well and I'm able to soak them off without messing up my natural nails. All right, here they are. They are all off. Um, my nails look pretty healthy, really like don't look terrible at all. Um, I'm just going to do a light buff over them to get rid of any rough spots. 
and then I'll have to do um, some cuticle remover and stuff like that just to get all of this dead skin. I'll do some filing and things to get them back in shape. But yes, there they are. I am very happy with my little first press-on experience. They are so freaking pretty. I highly recommend. Um, I do think that she has kind of rebranded since she sent me these. So I'll leave her new Instagram down below. But very happy with them. And I'm happy that I could like try something new. I think that's the best part of like doing them is like I can put them on for a week or two weeks and still have my nails be healthy but get to try a different shape or a different look or have the same really cool nail art on for a longer period of time so yes I hope you enjoyed um let me know if you have purchased anything from the shop or if you have any press on tips or if you're gonna go purchase now that I have sent you or showed you what mine looked like but yes thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one